So here we are again, still in lockdown, still battling the coronavirus. <clears throat> and the people who are bearing the brunt of the battle are, of course, the nurses. And so uh, I decided to bring my nurses song up to date and give it a coronavirus twist. So instead of being called good health and good luck to the nurses, it's now called thank God for those NHS nurses. <clears throat> so here we go. There are those who will never grant fortune a bean, who scorn her with laughter and curses, till the day when they wake up with COVID-19. Oh, it's then that they turn to the nurses. They're angels of mercy and willing to serve, but they still need some brass in their purses. So let's treat them and greet them the way they deserve. And thank God for those NHS nurses. No masks and no gloves and no surgical gowns. Each new revelation the worse is. But they still do their best not to let people down. What wonderful people, these nurses. They're angels of mercy and willing to serve, but they still need some brass in their purses. So let's treat them and greet them the way they deserve. And thank God for those NHS nurses. The government spokesman is holding his breath as some weaselly word he rehearses. He'll neatly gloss over statistics of death and the price that is paid by the nurses. They're angels of mercy and willing to serve, but they still need some brass in their purses. So let's treat them and greet them the way they deserve. And thank God for those NHS nurses. For the plan's non-existent, the plan is kaput. From crisis to crisis it lurches. But one thing is kosher, it's open and shut. We can still put our trust in the nurses. They're angels of mercy and willing to serve, but they still need some brass in their purses. So let's treat them and greet them the way they deserve. And thank God for those NHS nurses. Thank you. If you liked it, please give it a like. Bye-bye.